Hi, I'm Russ Dennett, the Director of Education for the Chimney Safety Institute of America and the National Chimney Sweep Guild. One of the questions that we frequently hear at the office here is, can I just burn my chimney out to get rid of the creosote deposits? And the answer is no. Uh, you'll run into different types of creosote inside a chimney. Uh, we nitpick them and break them down into a lot of different categories in the profession as far as how we deal with them. But just for general knowledge, our recommendation to Chimney Safety Institute of America is if you have an eighth inch of deposit or more, that chimney should be swept and those deposits removed. Now there is one exception to that, and that is what we call third degree creosote. Third degree creosote is a very highly concentrated uh, flammable material. So if you have any third degree creosote, we do recommend that the chimney be swept at that time and those deposits removed. Now, I, I wanna point this out. What creosote actually is, is it's unburned wood, basically. Uh, particulates of wood, the combustible gases from the wood will condense in the flue. So what you're doing is taking that combustible material from the firebox and depositing it up in your flue. The chimney is not designed to contain a fire. Now when we talk about masonry chimneys, one of the things we commonly see as chimney professionals out there are clearance issues. There's supposed to be air space between the outside of that brick or stonework and the surrounding combustibles. We often find that is not the case. So consequently, that chimney is not designed to have a fire to begin with, and if you have a, a further hazardous situation in that there are combustibles up against, those combustibles may have become what we term pyrolyzed, more easily ignited over the years, as that brick and mortar uh, and stonework have heated and cooled, so they may have a lower ignition temperature. Uh, clearance issues are definitely a reason, one of the reasons you don't want to have a fire inside your chimney. Uh, we see chimneys deteriorate over time. Brick and mortar and stone are often thought of as permanent things, but the reality is, they're, they'll degrade over time due to weather conditions, different flue gases being vented into them, things like that. At the very least, if you have a chimney fire in a masonry chimney, you're probably going to damage the flue tiles that line it. Those are a crucial part of the situation of the chimney working properly. Chimney fires, we typically will see temperatures around 2100 degrees, maybe a little higher. So that while that flue tile is a ceramic material and designed to operate at high temperatures, when it's heated extremely rapidly like that, when it goes from normal operating temperatures to the 2100 degrees, uh, those flue tiles won't expand and grow and they'll most often break in that situation, which will necessitate a reline, which is not an inexpensive fix. Metal chimneys, a lot of you might have metal chimneys out there, either on your wood stove or your factory built fireplace. Those will be damaged by a fire in a lot of cases. What happens is because of that rapid temperature rise, the metal in those chimneys want to wants to expand and get bigger. It doesn't always happen well, so what happens is you can get warping of that inner liner on your chimney, separation, the chimney can come apart on the inside, and necessitate that chimney being replaced, which again is not an inexpensive fix.